woman is extraordinary. Caroline Hensley's her name. She's a University of Cincinnati medical student with this lofty goal. She's helped open a free clinic for people who don't have health insurance. Here's what she told me about the people she cares for. We were just so intrigued by your story, and it's so relevant today. I, I'm just wondering, what did you see or hear about that helped you recognize this was such an important need that needed to be filled? Yeah. So before I started medical school, I was working in a federally qualified health center, um, and I was working with a lot of patients who were coming from pretty far away and were coming because they didn't have other options where they could be seen because they didn't have insurance. Um, and I saw that there were a lot of there was a lot of care that they were seeking in the emergency room or other places where they weren't getting the best care that they could because their needs were more of a primary care need or something where um, we could be help thinking about preventative measures. Um, and so I really saw that disparity in what services these patients needed and what was available to them in their communities where they lived. So tell me about the clinic and tell me about the people who come there. You know, what are their most urgent needs? Yeah, so the clinic, and we have this amazing relationship with the Healing Center, which is an organization in Cincinnati and Springdale specifically, um, that really aims to treat people holistically, taking care of food insecurity, housing insecurity, um, and we've partnered with them, in, and we have a wonderful relationship with them, and we have people from all different walks of life coming in, um, and some people looking for really support and kind of social support and thinking about how their social um, barriers are affecting their health and other people who are coming in more with kind of upper respiratory symptoms who um, really don't know what to do that they're kind of in a crisis and we're able to help um, connect them with either the medications that they need, the supports that they need, or if their um, status is critical, sending them to the emergency room or wherever, wherever might be the most appropriate place for their care. Can you even envision what it's become already at this point when you started this? I think there were a lot of moments where we saw a lot of hurdles, where we saw a lot of um, barriers, a lot of resources that we needed that we weren't sure how we were going to obtain. Um, so no, there were definitely moments where our team had said, oh my goodness, I don't know if we can keep pushing through. Um, but it's been so worth it and um, certainly become something bigger than we thought it would be. And I bet to all of those people that you're helping too. Caroline, thank you so much. Good luck with everything. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Thank you. That clinic, by the way, opened 9 to noon on Saturdays. There are medical, pharmacy, and nursing students that see patients, and there's always uh, someone supported by a physician who is with them there at the clinic. Good work they Good did Good for there. her, isn't it? Yeah. Good some human kindness there. Thank you so much for starting your morning with us. Um, we hope that you make good memories today. Inside Politics, by the way, of course, is up next. We're going to leave you, though, with a look at Saturday Night Live. Uh, return this week with a political sketch featuring White House Counsel Kellyanne Conway and Conan, the hero dog.